Hello and welcome to the guide of DP28. If I miss something, feel free to put it down in the comments below. Also at this point I don't think I need to point out the fact that there are time steps in the top right of the screen. So let's get to it. The best setup for DP28 in my opinion is the 7 and 1 sniper bullet, sight, field trigger job, lightened spring and stainless steel barrel. Be sure to not forget Tide Grip or Dead Eye Gold because it helps a ton with the gun's accuracy. Without those, the gun is hard to handle on long ranges. However, if you decide to use the badges, this build will have a decent CQC potential and average medium range ability. But annoyingly, the build is expensive to maintain, so it does have that as a downside. So I have been trying to get something more consistent for people without the luxury of a veteran membership. And although people say that they play with full mods, I just didn't find the accuracy to be sufficient enough, so I decided to investigate why there is such a difference between Dead Eye and No Badge. And throughout my testing it seemed that the trigger was the culprit of the weird inaccuracy DP28 has. Of course without it you will have a worse TTK, so keep that in mind, but it's not by much. However, medium ranges are much better and handling is similar to Dead Eye or Titan Rebuilds at full mods. At first I had the opinion that Deadeye would be superior, because of its ability to help seeing targets better. But for this gun, Tide Grip is for sure a viable alternative. So hence I recommend trying them out both and seeing what you would prefer yourself, because the difference is very minimal. Although keep in mind that Tide Grip will be unlocked significantly earlier. For alternative badges you can use Fast Reload and uh, already mentioned fully modded setup in CQC only, avoiding the medium range. You can also somewhat make Hoarder Gold, DP28, Bazooka or Panzer Strike work, but I don't really recommend that build. From my gameplay I noticed that there is not that much of a difference whether you are crouched or standing, so it's a bit more friendly towards players who are not used to LMG style of playing. Obviously, like with most LMGs, strafing isn't exactly great, but you can still do minimal inputs. So it's something in between MG42 and SMGs for reference. There is little sway to speak of, so that minimal input is not that much required in the first place. Tapping or bursting on the other hand, whichever way you want to call it, doesn't let you that much more accuracy, so spraying medium ranges can be done if you can keep on target. 